forgot to open my character sheet. All right. Oh, the rod frightens me. Rod frightens, frightens you. Bad. Whoa, come on, motherfucker. Oh, it's so suspenseful. I rolled an eight. I'm uh, frightened. You guys both fail. You are stuck motionless with terror. <laughs> Does not say for how long. God, Brager, you're so shitty at rolling. God. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I haven't moved for like three turns now. Okay, um, Vincent, I need you to roll 1d100 on a 1 through 20. You lose one point from your charisma. Could have been a 19, it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah. 1d100 and rolls a 1. This is something. Uh, and now let me roll for everyone around you. <laughs> oh, God. Fail, fail, pass. <clears throat> Fail. Fail. Okay. So, I'm going to mark with... How does this work? A red dot. Those that are struck motionless with terror. Is that red dot showing up for you guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're seeing it. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, and let's check those other guys. Fail and fail. They are rolling extraordinarily poorly for everything today. Nice. <laughs> um, and one of the archers is looking your way, and Jesus. Only one of them passed, and this guy is kind of looking at you-ish through past Bregor. And he is struck with terror. Bregor gets a red. <laughs> yeah. Everyone gets a red mark. Am I? Vincent, what are you? Ah! <laughs> yeah. So his clothes and appearance are transformed into an illusion of darkest horror. So you guys are all like struck with the horror of Vincent. All right. So I got some questions. Did we lose so... charisma? No, 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 just, no, me. just Vincent. Just me. Oh. Um, so they won't move. <laughs> Don't for... worry, Gregor. <laughs> Forever now, basically, right? They are struck the motionless with terror. So I'm going to say every round, they have to make another saving throw versus rods to overcome the terror. Okay. Um, so I got two attacks this round, but that's with my sword, I guess. Can I get one attack still? Yeah, I'll get you one attack. All right, I'll attack the guy that's not frozen then. Okay. The one that doesn't uh, look like he's scared of you? Right. 18 again, it's a miss. 18 is just a miss. <laughs> um, Abigail. Um, can I shoot from here, or is it just impossible? Shoot this archer. Um, no. I can move and shoot, right? I have six yeah. squares. Yeah, if you move, if you move like over here or something, you can shoot through the fence at the this archer. All right, I'll can, do that. Yeah. But there's no way I can shoot this one, right? I don't think you have enough movement to get to within line of sight. <sighs> What if I go there? I just counted six. Still impossible? Yeah. Damn Still it. On a side. So I can shoot this one? Sure. Alright, I'll do that. So D20 plus six, but it's a back attack, so I don't know what it does. Eight? Uh, D20 plus Wait, it's seven, seven plus it's seven. two. <laughs> seven plus two. That's so the direction D20 the plus arrow. nine, right? Yeah. Thirteen. Thirteen. You yeah. sail, you know, hit into his armor and it falls to the ground. Oh, I should have picked the daggers. Or was I too far away? Yeah, daggers don't have... I mean, you'd get, yeah, like, max range for daggers. All right, all right. Um, initiative for somebody on your... Uh, I'll do it. I think Jeff hasn't done it yet. Nice. Four. Go for it. Um, so, Neil, let's clarify this. How are you doing this? Like, the guys that failed, they're motionless. You're going to make them try that every turn, so... Every turn, they get to try and break the horror. Okay, but even if they did break the horror, don't they then have to take a morale test? Um, that's right, everyone needs to make a morale check. I have... Morale Because I think people should be running now, right? Isn't that how that works? Yeah, they all have to make morale checks. Um, but you guys go first, so... Well, they should have made a morale check last turn, I thought, right? Yeah, but you had done that at the end. They haven't had a turn since you did that. All right, so all right. even if they had failed the morale check, they still wouldn't have been able to move. For my turn, then... I am going to literally just slit the throat of one of the motionless guys. I'm going to take my sword, 
So you turn going... like your side to the. No, I guess you're fine. You just like. Yeah. I'm surrounded, Neil. For fuck's sake! There's like guys okay. everywhere. So I just yeah, yeah, lop yeah. the head off of one guy. Okay. Um. So. Imagine uh, I'm I mean, opening a can of, of beans. It's about that easy because the guy's just going. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah. If, yeah. Um, combat rules state that if if they're if you're out of combat, like if there was literally no one around you that was attacking you, it'd be fine. You could just kill them indiscriminately. But since you do have some guy that is still you know making an attack on you, unless you forego like unless you don't even pay attention right. to him and let him just like wail on you, then you still have to make an attack roll. Twenty three. Twenty three. You hit and you can <clears throat> just you know slice through someone's face. I'll let you pick, Neil. I'll pick this guy right next to the, this guy. So he is going to be dead. We'll just blah. Perfect. Right next to him. So now how do our morale checks work? You guys just need to make a save. Wait, first, oh. don't you get two attacks, Jeff? No, I got, that was my last turn. I'll get two attacks uh, in the next one. Okay. All right, sorry. What, what were you saying, Neil? Make a saving throw versus rods. So, the so exact another D twenty. I'm thirteen or higher for D twenty. Sixteen. Sixteen. You overcome your horror of Jeff. <laughs> Perfect. You're not so scary anymore, Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. Uh, all right, I will pull out my sword. Mm -hmm. Drop your butt to the ground. Pull out your sword. And I will slice. I will turn so that I'm. Uh, I will turn and I will face this way. To I will face the east. Okay. And I will attack the the man right in front of me. <laughs> he moonwalks in the other direction. <laughs> oh, that's not facing the east. That's the west, right? Does this no. matter? Do we have to do directional? This shit? is east over here, buddy. Yeah, so I want to face that way. I. I was just having the top of the head being the direction you face. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Or okay. so towards the north. <laughs> <laughs> what do I what do I roll for swords again? Uh, See, twenty plus. Isn't it like 11 or something? Because you're using the... Uh, no, it's for him, it's just D20 plus 5. Oh. He doesn't yeah. have a magic sword. <sighs> yeah, we traded it. Oh, that's okay. right. It's gone. D20 plus 5. 19. 19 is a hit. 19 right. is exactly what you need to hit. And my attack is what again? D8? D8. D8. Plus 2 or something like that, maybe? No. He's not a magic sword. And he has 7. No... Oh. 7. You slash the guy in front of you for seven, and he looks to be badly wounded. My turn to do the save. Do it. I rolled a two, so I'm still scared as shit. You're still scared as shit. Abigail? <laughs> I'm going to take another shot at... Uh, actually, I'm going to move Oh my god! What? It was four turns later. Anyways, go ahead. <laughs> what? Go ahead. All right. So I'm going to move two squares. Can I shoot this guy now? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to take a shot at this guy. Roll d20. Do I get a bonus since he's... Oh, no, he's not under the spell. Never mind. Yeah. Plus nine anyway, right? Oh, yeah. you should get back attack and stuff, right? 26. Yeah, back attack is included. It's a big hit. 26 is a hit. That is a Yay. not a critical. It's not? If you had rolled an 18 and it had been in 26, then yeah. But as a 17, no. Hmm. All right, 18, so... 19, 20, Six? D6. Well, 2d6 since you've got, oh. you know, back attack. Yeah. Do you back want me attack. to do another? Yeah. Four and five. <clears throat> That's good. Nine damage. Nine damage, yeah. Take that on terrorized person. Dead, 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 dead. No. Okay. Now we're all checked. Right. Now it's their turn. They get, the, they all make their morale checks. One, two, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven of them have to make morale checks. One, two, three, four, five. What is a morale check? What does that do? Do they run otherwise? Uh, if they fail the morale check, they will disengage and flee. Not necessarily like turn their backs and run screaming in the other direction, but you know, bravely run off. You uh, won I mean, this time, terrible monster. <laughs> I retreat. Will walk away from you bravely. If they fail badly, then they uh, run indiscriminately. But if they just fail, then they kind of retreat. Okay, so we got one fail on a morale check, two fails, three. Oh my god! 
Yes. I actually have a high morale score <laughs> and bag at. Totally worth the one charisma point. Three fails, one pass. So this guy's going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Towards the grease. <laughs> and this guy, try it. One, two, three, four, Wait, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If he can get out of the grease, which he does. Oh, oh they're, they're coming my way. This guy. Do I get an attack of opportunity on the guys that run away from me? Um, Good yeah. Makes sense. Uh, that, this one guy's behind you, so you don't get an attack of opportunity on the guy behind Arr! you. <laughs> back is to him. How are you supposed to get an attack? I know. Uh, I'm just... He flings his sword backwards because Vincent is instinctual. <laughs> Didn't he have blind fighting or something? Yeah, not enough. Okay, pass. <laughs> For it to work, he has to level pass. up. Pass. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> Fail. One, two, three. Brigger, you can attack of opportunity on this guy as he runs. One, oh, nice. two, three, four. <clears throat> so, Wait, uh, your normal sword attack with plus two bonus. So that would be a d20 plus seven. Correct. Did I get any kneel or did the only No, it was just point? the one guy behind you. Okay. 23? 23? Hit. Because you then have to test for rot again, right? Basically. Four mm -hmm. for the damage. Okay, this guy is like limping and bleeding all over the place. Burger. Nice. Um, the guys that. And now they all have to make saving throws versus rod. Have we killed. We, the only one that's dead is this one next to Jeff, right? Right. Okay. Pass. Okay. So this guy passes. This guy passes. But they've already failed the morale check, so that's not as important. Um, and everyone else is still struck with terror. And the archer takes a shot at Bannon oh, and hits Bannon. Of course. No, I have armor. Does that count to anything on the roll? Yeah, it, what's the duration of armor? <clears throat> it says special, <laughs> if I remember correctly. Uh, it's, yeah, duration is special. I think it's just whenever the first attack is had that it starts to degrade after that. It lasts until successfully dispelled or until the wearer sustains cumulative damage totaling greater than 8 points plus 1 per level of the caster. Thus the oh, wearer sweet. might suffer 8 points from an attack, then several minutes later sustain an additional 1 point of damage unless the spell were cast by a wizard of 2nd level or higher. It would be dispelled at this time. Until it is dispelled, the armor spell grants the wearer full benefits of the armor class gained. Okay. Cool. He still hits you. Armor class of six or better? Is um, that what I have? Well, that's the old school system, which would mean an armor class of 14 or better. Okay. So it gives you armor class 14, unless you already have armor 14 or better. Gotcha. Um, but you still take six points of damage. Perfect. So I die. <laughs> What's no, my screw, HP no. at? Nine? Nine. Yeah. And... Everyone surrounding Bregger still gets their shots on the stunned Bregger. Um, actually, no, Bregger's unstunned, so unstunned. they don't stun. Yeah, I'm shots. unstunned. That's right. Oh, two more criticals, actually. Wow. Um, make two saves versus death, Bregger. Jeez, okay. 20. Nice. Shrug, <laughs> shrug the first one off. <laughs> 13. That's a pass, right? Yeah, yes, Pass them both. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> I need like a 12, I think, right? Yeah. Got him. He needs an 11. Oh, oh nice. nice. Nah. So um, since I critically didn't fail, I like repost the blow and... No, you still take <laughs> And you a... killed them. <laughs> From one of them, you take six, and another you take nine for a total of 15 damage. What am I at? Um, like 10? You're at nine. Right nine? Now. Ooh. Yeah. Initiative. Uh, I'll roll. No. <laughs> no. Oh god. Shit. Oh god. Oh yeah. They could totally go first. <clears throat> so this guy, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, goes inside. This guy goes inside. Two guys ran off, right? Yeah, this guy keeps running further. This guy keeps running further. This 
to move them off the edge of the map. Is it like in Warhammer, if they hit the edge of the board, they die? No. Is that a Warhammer thing? <laughs> Tabletop, yeah. Okay. Um, cool. And those two, three, me, saving throws versus spell. Gregor, take your healing Gregor. potion! <laughs> this guy passes, the other two fail, and... Abigail let's... throws six healing potions at Gregor, shoots an arrow, shatters all of them, they <laughs> fall in his mouth, and he consumes all six at one time. <laughs> Neil, make it happen. <laughs> I smile like this. I'm like separating out the shards of glass from the actual healing potion. Actually, that was the plan, but she like whiffs, hits him face. No glass. The gets broken in my glass mouth. falls on his head, and he collapses on it and dies. Abigail, you do three times damage for your back attack instead of two uh -huh. times damage. You want me to roll another d6? No, yes. but from here on out, just recall it. What? But Go. but but. What do you mean but, what? No. No yeah, no. Let's no. kill the guy. No. No. I could... Forgot the rule until like a round or two later. We'll just keep moving on. That's how what I do when I fuck up things for enemies. I don't go back and say, well, hold on, guys. Whoops, I forgot this guy got an extra plus two to his damage. I forget him. Like, okay, whatever. We made a mistake and we moved on. I'm reminding you, which I don't actually have to. You should remember this shit on your own. You're, you guys are right. Whoa! But we just the changed the back attack rule. doesn't have to remind you of the rules. But the back no, I don't have to remind you of your abilities. If you forget that you can do something, that's not my fault. You're right. The guy that controls the universe in this game has no extra responsibility. It's written on her character sheet. Bottom of the second page. I agree with you. Excellent. I'm glad we're in agreement. Uh, Brigger, <laughs> there's three guys attacking you. Um, one of them moves here. Link. Another critical and two misses. Saving throw versus spell, Brigger. Holy crap. Ah. Or versus death. 16. 16. Fuck death. 2d8 <laughs> incoming. 3 and a 7. 10 damage. No! Oh you my god. It it's the first time, man. First time, yeah. yeah. I thought Breaker. he had infinite Launch arts. Hits. Good job tanking there, Breger. My turn, you said? Um, No, the one guy that's fighting in your front makes an attack and misses. And one archer shoots at you while one archer shoots at Bannon. Uh... Bannon is hit and Vincent is oh, missed. Fuck. Bannon, you take eight damage. So I'm you are one, one HP. Cool. Okay. But ironically enough, the arrow makes him brave, and now he's not so afraid of them again. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will take. Uh, I'll take my my first attack against the guy that's awake and not afraid of the fiery demon. Mm -hmm. No. So I guess I take the second attack against him. And apparently I like rolling sixes plus elevens. That's yeah. my turn. Yeah. Yay. So you... I have... Sorry, go ahead, Neil. Uh, <sighs> Do I, I have just... to roll again to save versus the fear shit? Yes, sir. Okay. You have a second attack now. I already did it. It was exactly the same. I rolled a three, so cool. I've just been stunned this entire time. You're just staring at Vincent with horror all over your face. Cool. Abigail? I'm gonna take a shot at the guy I didn't kill but should have. Nineteen. Nineteen is a hit. So is it three d six? Yes. Seven. Seven. Okay. He dies. No, he doesn't die. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, magically, oh. a third d six appears out of nowhere this turn to make Which up for the last one. Which would still not kill him. Nope, and nope. Fuck. He's a uh, buff archer, man. And Brigger uh, bleeds out a little bit. Well, one more. Yeah. yeah. What is he at now? Negative two? Negative two? two? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Except it won't let me go into negative. There we go. Negative one. Now negative two. Cool. Initiative, guys. Fuck you, I'm rolling it. Four. Four, you guys go first. Good roll. Well, uh, I, the only one that can go is Vincent's. Oh, well, you can <laughs> also make your, your... Oh, okay, I guess I'll see if I'm going to be useful. Uh, six. Nope, not useful yet. Damn. Are you rolling a d20 there? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it been like four, four, six or something like that? Something like that. Uh, three, six... Yikes. Two and eight. 
All right, I'm going to... Well, I guess I just take it. I swing at the guy in front of me. 27. Hit. Nice. Seven is a critical. So 2d8 plus six. Yeah. Ele oh my god. <laughs> you and those 11s. It's your number of the day. You slash him for 11 damage. And he is injured, but not dead. Abigail? I'm gonna take a shot at the same guy that never dies. Mm hmm. Record. We've already established by this HP. 13? 13, you hit his armor. Mm. Um, their turn. The archers turn around and shoot at Abigail. I dance and dodge. Uh, Abigail, what's your armor class? Uh, very good. <laughs> 20. Yeah, you should just be in the front line. Your armor class is better than Bregger's. Um, but I have you... no HP. <laughs> yeah. Uh, both arrows sail past you without damaging you. Yes. Now the morale stuff? Yeah, morale stuff. Um, well, they've already failed. The guys that failed morale checks don't need to make them any further. The two guys that are next to you both overcome their terror. Uh, this round. But then have to test against Rod, don't they? Yeah, that's what they that's what I rolled. They just passed their saving throw versus Rod. But then they have to take morale tests, I think, is what it no, says. No, the morale check was just the first round. It's not uh, Do you mind reading it again since we're now being super strict about the rules? <laughs> We've always been super strict about the rules, but I will read it again anyway. can find it. Stabs, stabs, rods. Da -da 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 -da. Those who succeed on their saves suffer a minus one penalty to their morale checks and must make immediate rule. Oh, those who succeed on their saves, well, we fucked that up. Um, that's fine. This, we fucked it up in your favor, vastly. Yeah. So it was supposed to be everyone makes a save. Those that fail are stuck motionless with terror. Those that pass have to make a check to run away, but instead we did the people who failed also Just ran. Stuck. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you ended up having more people flee than you should have. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, it's their turn. One, this guy comes up from behind. These guys come up over next to Bannon. And at this point, you guys are completely surrounded. One of your guys down, and they uh, they say, "Lay down your arms or be destroyed." I turn to Vincent and see what he's doing, or I like kind of just turn my head and look at Vincent to see how he's in terror. Time, you're still in terror. Oh, Vincent. okay, that's right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you look at, ben, at Vincent and so I can't even do anything. I just, I just like. <laughs> yeah, you're just like. <gasps> um. Well, I see that they that uh, Bregor is down and Bannon's surrounded, so I I drop my sword. Okay. Uh, they kick it away from you, and still weapons armed, that you come up and like remove the other weapons from your person. It takes a while. It, <laughs> it takes a while. They also take like anything that could possibly be look conceived of as a weapon off of your belt. So both your rods, which are tucked into your belt, come off, and. Um, I don't think you have any hidden weapons on you right now. Nope, just like the four daggers, the two rods, the sword, and the shield. Yeah. Yeah, so they take those away from you. Bannon, uh, eventually, you know, they see that you're still stuck with terror, so they kind of take the staff out of your hand. And... So it's, in, it's still in baton form. <laughs> okay, they take the baton out of your hand. Pocket. Uh, pocket. Yes. Whatever, they, they pat you down. They take your stuff. <laughs> Abigail, do you surrender as well? I run. You run? Yeah. I start Where running. You... Where do you run? Make your move. Uh, so I have 12? Yeah. Wait, I'm going to have to finish it. <laughs> uh, how much time does this take? I'm at 10 when I get there. 10. 
Okay, you want to take another 11, two steps? 12. Or two more to go through the next area. Uh, like, I'd be here? No, no, no. Each, each one here? of these pit squares and each one of these so posts. I'm here. Two, yeah. All right, so I'm here. Okay. All right, um, one of these guys comes over and, well, one of them patches up their dude and one of them starts patching up Bregger. Uh, and they escort you guys to... I don't have a prison cell here. Do they um, slip on the grease? <laughs> what's the direction of grease, actually? I have eight rounds. I'm guessing they saw people slip and they just step through. Yeah, like, they, at this point the... they've stopped using the grease. They spend a few rounds, like, you know... Anyway, eventually the grease, they move. So I've, you guys are all end up in this room now. Which room? Oops. I, Maybe I shouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're running, Abigail. A couple guys are chasing after you, but you're in lighter armor, so you've managed to get away. Wait, what nice. the fuck is that thing? He's... These are doors in the inside of the room. This is their <laughs> captain. Oh, this is uh, a wizard? And that is a just like the local uh, cleric, shaman, healer, other dude. He's like not an actual. Whoa. Yeah. He's like just staff for the place. Okay. Um. So you guys are all put into his bedroom actually because they don't have a spot for you all. Are we in here alone? Yeah, you guys are in here by yourselves currently. Bannon is still terrified. <laughs> Bannon is unterrified. Okay. Well, before we do anything, I think it's a good time for a break. And then we can yeah. come back and figure out what the fuck's going on after this. So, I, I don't even know. We almost just party wiped. So, we'll be back after this break. More roleplay coming up. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you guys then.